Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Lisa. We help individuals and couples cultivate a no-surrender mindset so that they can thrive. Guess what, Mike? What? Today is your lucky day. What? <laughs> it was 28 years ago when Michael called me from a hotel room ready to end his life. Drug addiction had a hold of him, mm -hmm. and he felt there was no way out. Mm -hmm. Now, I'd only known him for a few short months, but during that time, we had become very close and had fallen in love, which was something we were not looking for. Both of our lives were an absolute mess. We were living life day to day with no plan for our future. Mm -hmm. So he got himself out of that hotel room that he was holed up in, and I picked him up. He had come to the point where he was finally ready to get help. And when I pulled up to the halfway house, I was unsure I would ever even see him again. But it was a sacrifice that I was willing to make for the chance that it would save his life. Now, this program he was going to was a year commitment. A year is a long time to be away from someone that you're totally committed to. And here we were just in a few short months into our relationship. And as I drove away, I cried, I prayed, and I wished that he would just be okay. And if possible, somehow we would make it through this. Needless to say, I didn't stay the whole year because I'm hard headed. <laughs> <laughs> we made it through that and so many more speed bumps on the way to figuring out this thing called life. Did I just make a Prince reference? <laughs> March 2nd, we celebrated 26th wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. People, 26. To me, that's a miracle. Yeah. We were voted most likely not to be together. Lisa's close friends told her, don't go with him. Mm -hmm. Her mother, upon hearing from Lisa, we were planning on getting married while at dinner with her, <laughs> parents flat out told her, do not marry him. <laughs> Over the years, now we have been told by so many people, you two are so lucky. Mm -hmm. Others say, it's a blessing you two are still together yep. or alive. Yeah. And those close to us say, you both have worked so hard. It's because of the work that you put in, you have done so well. That's true. You know what we believe? We believe it's a combination of it all. That's right. Regardless of how we have come to still be together right here, right now, one thing is certain, when everything else in our lives may be breaking down, taking away, we do everything we can to help move our life together in the right direction. That's right. This goes for our relationship, our health, our finances, our faith, and our businesses. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't leave it up to that wish upon a shooting star or right place at the right time yeah. chance. Just got lucky this time, maybe not next. <laughs> or wow, just good fortune. Yeah. We are aware of some of the facts that sometimes does not happen. And sometimes it does. Yes, they do. <laughs> we're both very pretty lucky that we were born in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. We're pretty lucky that mm -hmm. we come from an economically stable family. So, I mean, mm -hmm. we weren't born mm -hmm. into poverty. Mm -hmm. And we're pretty lucky that we have the full function of our bodies. These are all things that we had no control of when we were born. When you are aware of what you do have control over, that can make all the difference. The things I'm speaking about are our mind, our body, and our energy. Right. We all know people in our lives who are unsatisfied with their lives. <laughs> How do we know that? They're not satisfied with themselves and the world at large. We know this because they always tell us about it. We hear them complain. We hear them say things like, they don't like me, or they like them better, or I'm really unlucky. Nothing good ever happens to me. <laughs> this is just how it has always been, so it's just, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. These are the cards that I was dealt with, so why bother? Maybe you are there right now. We have been raised with the belief in luck. Yeah. Either you have it, or you don't. That's right. Don't break that mirror or you'll have seven years of bad luck. Well, I'm going on 28 years. 
So it You've got comes luck. and goes. It's lucky if you blow out all the candles of your birthday cake in one breath. Oh, that's right. It's unlucky to see the bride in her dress before the wedding. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Be sure to go around the ladder, not under it. <laughs> Avoid the black cat crossing your path. Uh, mm -hmm. It's unlucky to open the umbrella inside. Mm -hmm. Make a wish on a wishbone or a shooting star. Mm -hmm. Throw some salt over your right shoulder. Or is it your left shoulder? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> and one we see people use all the time. This hasn't happened to me yet. Let's knock on wood. Yeah. But luck could be all just a perspective. It could be your perspective. Mm -hmm. I was just in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. But for the grace of God, there go I. Mm -hmm. I really had luck on my side. Oh, yes. Fortune has smiled on them. Yeah. Third time is a charm. charm. Cross your fingers. Hope the dice take a needle in your eye. Guess what, Mike? You <laughs> have nine lives. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't meant to be. Something better is coming your way. Mm -hmm. See, often people who are lucky create it themselves through opportunities, successful decision making, mm -hmm. goal setting, chasing mm -hmm. their dreams, mm -hmm. having a positive attitude, realistic expectations, working hard, and being a seeker. If it sounds like a bunch of pukaki, it's poo not. Pukaki. It's your mindset plays a big part in it. <laughs> yes, it does. It freaking does. If you believe you're lucky, you're often programming yourself to manifest and acknowledge opportunities that are coming your way. Have you ever bought a certain color car and soon after start seeing that make and model everywhere? Hmm, coincidence? <laughs> Have you ever felt like you were never going to meet someone in your life that could that you could fall in love with, spend the rest of your life with, and soon after you just give up, bam, that person shows up. Yeah. You're like, what? <laughs> there are times when we will pull into a parking lot of a store and there's places are packed and Lisa would sit there and go, oh God, I know there's a parking space for us. Please help us find it. And sure enough, more times than not, one appears. Yeah. Not just one in the back, but one right up front or very close. I just look over at her and she smiles at me. So here are three things to help you increase your lucky mindset. Number one, mm -hmm. work on having an abundant mindset. Not a scarcity mindset. Yes. This is the mindset where you think there's enough for everyone, mm -hmm. where good things are always coming your way. Mm -hmm. Gratitude, mm -hmm. it's a part of your daily walk, and you look for ways to give back to others. Practice daily affirmations, such as, I am open and receiving. My life is filled with abundance. Mm -hmm. Doors are always opening for me. And if they're not opening, we are going to break them down. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mindset. The right people are coming into my life. You see, when we were stabbed almost to death in that home burglary, we decided not to be victims. And this shift in our mindset has brought about strength, mm -hmm. and good fortune mm -hmm. beyond what we ever expected. Back in my early 20s, I couldn't, I could not have planned this back back then to be a backup dancer for Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. It was a backup ja dancer for a Michael Jackson impersonator. That's pretty good stuff. <laughs> no formal training. I could only freestyle. This, this guy named William Hall saw me, asked me to join his team. I knew I could do it. I knew I would figure it out and I work hard. And off we went on tour. We spent the next 13 months away from the United States, overseas, many different nightclubs in Singapore, Malaysia, Japan, and many other countries, doing two one-hour shows a night. Mm. Was that luck? Mm. Was I in the right place at the right time? Mm. You let me know. Number two, your thoughts become your reality. Mm -hmm. Henry Ford once said, if you think you can or you think you can, you're right. If you've been feeding your mind negativity over the years, you must start counteracting it with positive thinking. Read books that educate yourself. Listen to positive podcasts, mm -hmm. uplifting music, 
to improve your outlook on all kinds of things. That's right. Volunteer to get out of your negative headspace and help someone else. When you catch yourself talking negative about yourself, stop, back up, and immediately correct it mm -hmm. and say something positive. After the burglary, Lisa talked about earlier, we spent years working on ourselves mm -hmm. to get us back to where we felt even with where we were before that event. We fed our minds positive statements. We worked on our healing our bodies and our marriage. And it wasn't instant, it wasn't easy, and it wasn't fun at times. It sure was worth it. That's true. And number three, just get started. Start. Have you always wanted to do something, but you kept just putting it off? Yep. Maybe it's writing a book, asking someone out on a date, picking up the phone to make that first call to your first client. Absolutely. Attending a new social group, sending your resume in for that job that you really want. Mm -hmm. Guess what? If you do nothing, you get nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing will change unless you change. Mm -hmm. Take the first step and see what happens. It's always the first step that's the hardest. The first workout that you do. The first time you're rejected. <gasps> but the more you do it, the better you're going to get and the easier it becomes. See, when we faced the reality of the summit of the mountain that we had to climb after that tragic night, we didn't want to climb the mountain. We wanted to climb under the and covers, covers and hide. <laughs> and just wish it would go all yeah. the way. That was so much easier. But instead, we made the decision to fight. And we simply started mm -hmm. making one phone call to the police department. One bill that got paid. Mm -hmm. Mike had to do one more leg lift. Yep. Just to take a shower every day, going to physical therapy, mm -hmm. going to pick up the mail, mm -hmm. the simple daily activities that we just took for granted. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine where we would be today mm -hmm. if we just didn't start. Mm -hmm. I don't want to imagine it. Instead, I look forward to what amazing things await us in our future. Luck, people, is right around the corner mm -hmm. of hard work. Yep. Practice building abundant mindset. There's enough for everybody. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to feeding your mind positive information. Now is the time to start. What is the one thing you're going to do today to making your luck a reality? Remember, motion creates momentum. That's right. I hope you're lucky. Hit the like button and let us know if this was helpful to you. Yep. We look forward to hearing more of your successes in this coming year. And subscribe. So you can join us as we cultivate a no surrender mindset with you. Again, I'm Michael. And I'm Lisa. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye-bye.